This afternoon, mayor and council moved to help Tucsonans drenched by big water bills. As Night on Your Side told you last night, Tucson Water put forth a new way to help customers whose monthly bills increased dramatically because of a leak or runny toilet. The council accepted the proposal to lower the amount customers have to pay, but brought up some concerns about the plan and the problem. Kevin Keene continues Night on Your Side investigation with more on the Soaker Solution. I think it's really, I, th I think it's really encouraging to see the progress that Tucson Water's made. I still think we've got a, a long way to go. It's kind of halftime. Halftime because Council Member Paul Cunningham has some questions about the department's plan to reduce big bills thousands of customers receive every year. He wanted to know if rates will go up to pay for the new bill adjustments. If we implement this as a pilot program right now, and I don't have any leaks, and I do exactly the same, is my water bill going to go up? Mr. Mayor, Mr. Councilmember Cunningham, no, we're going to absorb this in our current operating budget by shifting costs around and making it work. Cunningham, who's pressed for a billing overhaul, also asked about the reasons customers get these bills in the first place. Tucson Water says half the time the culprit is a leak in or around the house. In other cases, it's a runny toilet, irrigation break, or vandalism. Cunningham requested Tucson Water looked into what he calls mystery leaks, where the reason for the big bill is never found and the problem somehow corrects itself. Does that bother you that there's no sources ever found? I think that that's one of the, th I mean, that's going to happen. The, the bottom line is we really just need to be able to catalog that and find out how often it happens, and then we can really identify whether we have a problem or not. It was a problem for Raylene Kaler. Neither she nor Tucson Water found the reason for her $1,000 bill last year. Do you feel that this proposal addresses that? It does only in the fact that he is requesting that there be a code program put into place where they can actually track the unidentified situations, and I think that's going to help them identify whether or not they really have a problem in that area. As you heard, there are a number of things Tucson Water staff will be looking into, like how frequently those mystery leaks happen and just how much these new bill adjustments will cost. They will investigate and report back in a few months. Any other positive news to report from this meeting? There, were, there, there is positive news. The staff say that they are making progress uh, replacing outdated water meters. They have hired more customer service reps, and they have reduced the call wait time for people who call in for help. Well, they're obviously listening to a lot of people who have reacted to this. Kevin, thank you.